for the Deer Man, a creature locals say has paralyzed. My name's Yorick, and once more we step into the night. Apparently, good doctor Johansson was mentioned on the TV, and police officials are on the record as saying, "Don't worry, quote that crazy bastard will save him." Oh, how do they know that? Or are they talking about Batman? I guess they could be talking about Batman. Definitely talking about Batman. Anyways, let's go save Dr. Yeah, Johansson. Right. To the beach. Now, we're not exactly the stand-up fight vampire. We're more of the sneaky around and drive them crazy. Greetings, Commander. Greetings, soldier. So let's do that. Anything to report? The Gladius Day has told us to keep a sharp eye. He thinks we may have some visitors this evening. Of course, sir. But duty, as always, is to protect the Brotherhood. All seems quiet for now. Good, good. Did he mention... Uh, what kind of visitor, sir? The only kind that matters, soldier. Yes, sir. Course, the horrible sir. kind. Carry on. Have you seen them? Jehovah Witnesses. I stay clear of those people. I wonder if I get revealed by torchlight. I seemingly do not. Never pass up free blood. You're giving me that gun. You just don't know it yet. You just saved me like 500 bucks, buddy. Hey, he's got one too. You guys are so generous. You give me your blood, you give me your guns. What more could a guy ask for? Maybe I can I can see. I could ask for that. You know what? I could ask for a few more bullets too. You guys had 13 bullets total between the two of you? What the actual hell? You know what occurred to me when I was uh, going about my day? I mentioned a phrase back when I was talking to Golden Gary about, uh, forget it, boss, it's Chinatown. Thinking it might have some relevance in cinema. I did a little digging. It does. It's from a movie called, unironically, Chinatown. Where two cops are having a conversation about the differences and about the differences and the gladius culture he looks like a hard man don't you know who that is no I'll finish that, sir. that's good the name sounds I was sworn in just last winter. I see. Are you enjoying your service in the Brotherhood? Of course. Then I recommend staying clear of Brother Grunfeld. <laughs> Not even the other hunters like Grunfeld Bach. That's hilarious.
This is how we do it. We're a sneaky vampire. Super sneaky. More bullets. Finally, someone that had a decent amount. You know what? I normally don't like doing it, but we're breaking this one. Valid target found. What the hell? He's right there. Oh, now I can do it. He just had to finish praying first. Alright then. Wow. That is looks complicated. Sort of. I wonder if I can redo this so that it picks up humans. <laughs> That's awesome. that sparkly over there. I don't quite understand what I was just looking at. That man has a Remington long, a Remington long rifle. Not quite a sniper rifle. But what the hell. Do something about that, because I want that gun. Uh... Mm. Sorry, old friend. I know. It makes me sad, let me tell you. Did they make all of their passwords the same? What the hell just happened? Not a cross? An Ingram? Hey, whatever, I guess, man, but still.
But that's gotta be kind of disconcerting for that guy there. Like, I was just talking to him, man, and then he had a heart attack. The hell was that about? Well, since I had to use this trick. Oh man, I was. It's been a while since I had to use that trick. Actually, I think that's the first time I've used that trick since training. And that's really. Really, really not use the door. You boys should have brewed more coffee. Are there? I need a sip of blood for this one. Target found in radius. Oh God! I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And if you don't know what I'm doing, then you're not a true Malkavian. No valid target in radius, huh? How about now? Bloody brilliant. You, sir, need to chill. Listen, my buddy's over there. Oh man, that is one hell of a way to clear a room. Not Tim. Ow. You, sir, cannot be shooting me with that shit. That really hurts. I know you're bad that you just killed your friends, but it's okay. Because now you can join me. I think I already have one of those. These guys love their katanas. The phrase, there can only be one, I don't think applies. Oh my gosh, the sparklies. My cup overfloweth. Vampire... Apocrypha. I assume it's encyclopedia. Nope. This book is titled, Vampire Apocrypha. Unidentified sarcophagus discovered by Julius of Gaul. Wait a minute. That does sound awfully familiar. That wasn't from uh, Redemption, was it? The origin of this dark and mysterious talisman is largely unknown and is mostly considered as a myth. If not for the etchings of Julius Gaul, who first discovered and then subsequently re entombed the artifact. They reveal almost no historical record of the artifact save for various unfounded legends of its evilness scattered throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. Historians and theologians alike have been unable to ascertain its exact age or place of origin. 
although the symbols and inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is from an era of ancient Sumer or Mesopotamia. It has, been, it has never been opened, and therefore any myths pertaining to who or what might be entombed in it are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold the remains of an ancient king, whose name so far has been lost to the ages. Let it be said, though, that the writings of Julius Gaul describe the artifact as being a nefarious and dread thing, full of some, a full of some ancient and undeniable evil. He attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact, who, upon setting his eyes on it for the first time, began convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. And I swear, I didn't use visions of death on him. Someone else did. Probably. Die! Yeah, that is what he did. What do we have here? That does look like our mystic box in question. I'll take a key. And you guys have this shoddy everywhere. It makes me really sad that I can't pick it up. Can I now? I mean, I could. I don't use the Uzi so much that I need 500 rounds. And I do miss the old shoddy. The old boomstick. I miss you, lad. You are a wonderful addition to the team. Oh, they're all scared. Look at them. I mean, I guess I could just shoot the damn thing out. No one said I had to be perfect at this. Dang, even over here that got me. Don't worry guys. It was just an explosion upstairs. No big deal. Who can say? You think the people right outside the door there would be wondering like, what the fuck? And then this crazy bastard, he walks over here him, by himself, like he's going to do something. Well, he might not, but, um, hmm. Ah, so that's how it's going to be. Dead. Expect that. Hey, I really like your guys' shotguns. Oh man. Well, there goes one. Said I had to kill all of them. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of want to. I need more blood. And they have sweet, sweet ammo. Oh, there's only two left, so this got way easier. Especially since this guy seems to be stuck on a roof of some kind. <laughs> Just doing vampire things in a vampire world. Sorry, guys. Dip. Drop it! You, sir, are a trooper. 
Nah, I know I just pumped you full of shells, and that probably should have killed you. But hey, live and let live. And then I drain you dry and take your gun. And by your gun, I mean you're not. Where'd your gun go? Just rip out the barrel entirely, huh? Whatever. I suppose the important thing is we're in the society now. In proper. Love the circus music. So, we've managed to infiltrate the Society of Leopold. We set off several explosions. We created total bedlam in that one room. That was bloody beautiful. And now we're descending deep under the uh, under the ground here, where we find Johann Bach, or Grunfeld Bach. Will we find Doctor Johansson? Will we find anything else down here besides from more hunters? I don't know. But I do know this. Next time, we'll find out. Until then, farewell, vampire.